Last year, I made a video about all the art supplies I have in my travel watercolour kit. A year's gone by and a lot has changed in what I carry in this bag, so I wanted to make an updated video on everything that I have in my watercolour bag so that I'm able to do paintings wherever I go. So to start off with, I carry two paintbrushes with me. They are Princeton Aqua Elite Synthetic Brushes, both round edges, and one is in a size 6 and the other is in a size 3. Most of the time I like working with round-headed brushes, and because I carry an A5 sketchbook with me, the majority of my paintings don't need a large brush size really, so a size 6 is perfect for the big work and a size 3 is great for finer details. Of course I carry a little jar with me as well, this is just an old honey jar and it's just for putting water in. Not long ago I also bought a small palette and I've just squeezed a selection of my paints in there as well. You always need some sort of pencil with you and I just use a basic HB pencil. It's nothing too exciting. And along with that, just a Staedtler eraser as well. And just in case my pencil is getting a bit too blunt, a pencil sharpener, because you always need one. I usually include ink with my watercolour paintings and my favourite brand of pens that I use are the Pigma Microns. They're great because they're waterproof so they don't really run when I am using watercolour and I've begun to collect a variety of sizes. I have a 01, a 03, a 005 and a 003 for extra fine detailing. One thing I always forget to restock in my bag is paper towel, but luckily before filming this video I got a bunch and just shoved it in the bag, so always need paper towel and you can never have enough. Over the last couple of months a new thing that I've been experimenting with is coloured pencils. I haven't yet invested in better quality pencils. These are just Faber-Castle tri-colour pencils. They're basic ones that you can get from Officeworks. But for now, I haven't dedicated much time to the coloured pencils, so I haven't yet bought more. But for now, they get the job done, and they're just a nice sort of thing to also have in my bag in case I need it. Depending on the day, it can get very windy when I'm sketching outside, so a couple of bulldog clips are really handy. I usually just clip them on the side of my sketchbook and they keep the paper down so that I can work without getting frustrated with pages blowing about, so I owe a lot of my sanity to these little clips. A pen that I don't use enough but I still carry with me is just a Uniball white pen. I, you can use this for adding highlights or details to paintings and I've done it a few times but I just always forget that it's in there. So making this video actually reminded me that I still have this pen with me. In case I'm wanting to do a bit of filming outdoors, I don't usually like carrying a big tripod with me because I find it very awkward and cumbersome. So I just have this very small mini tripod that my camera can just attach to. It was a originally for a phone but I found the size works well with my camera as well so that just sits in my case and it doesn't take up too much space. I always really like the Hannah Mueller sketchbooks and in my previous video I was using an A6 sketchbook. I now use an A5 which doesn't fit in my case but it's the same size as my case so it doesn't take up too much space. And finally, the bag itself. When I was wanting to upgrade from my previous travel kit I was looking around for different bags to buy but I couldn't find anything that I really liked. And then I remembered I had this Emirates vanity bag from the last time that I flew with Emirates. And it's meant to be something that you put your toothbrush and your eye mask in and everything, but I've never really used it for that. So it was just gathering dust. And I thought, hey, this is a perfect size for my watercolor travel kit. And so everything fits nicely into that. And it means that I didn't have to purchase a whole nother bag. I can actually use something that I already had. I'm not a big fan of the design on it, but it does its job and that's all I can ask for. And that is everything that I carry in my watercolour travel kit. I know this is a very short video, but if you're looking to make your own watercolour travel kit, then hopefully this serves as some inspiration for you. Thank you very much for watching as always and bye for now.